Yo, what's going on guys? So welcome back, Art Adventures. Uh, it is day 17 of Inktober and today's word for the prompt was um, storm. Man, this one took me such a long time to figure out exactly what I was gonna do. And um, man, I mean, I started thinking about this one yesterday. Um, me and my wife, Geraldine, were sitting there, you know, trying to contemplate like, hmm, what should we do? First thing both of us uh, came up with, kind of thinking outside the box, because um, I think her first initial reaction right off jump was Storm from X-Men, which is kind of, you know, stereotypical and like everybody's going to do Storm, which everybody's doing Storm, obviously. So um, again, just, you know, me being who I am, I, I want to be different from everybody else. So kind of decided to go away from something like that but still have a character that resemble, resembles some sort of storm and um, the the one character that both of us agreed on was um, Tasmanian Devil. So we were, well, I was going to draw the Tasmanian Devil and man, as an Among Us character, I was thinking about him like trying to contemplate like how am I going to do this? still make it look like a you know among us character while looking like the tasmanian devil without cutting his body off and you cut half of his body off then it doesn't look like the tasmanian devil so on and so forth so um i was thinking about the backgrounds that i could do what different backgrounds can i do in order to make the you know um character stand out tasmanian devil character stand out and still have you know the whole thing going on um for him but ended up not doing that because of that specific reason i just couldn't really think of anything thought it was going to be a little too difficult and um so kept thinking kept thinking kept thinking and came up with a couple different um i guess solutions one of them being the mask with uh you know the green face mask that uh jim carrey ended up playing back in the 90s, and um, I almost did that one, um, but and then I was like, man, besides his face, you know, what is there? Mind you, the Among Us characters, they I don't want to take the face away of the Among Us character, like I kind of did on the Leviathan, you know, um, it didn't have the Among Us face on it because I specifically had to... Um, you know, draw the fish tank, the fish bowl. And I'm okay with that one. That one was fun. I loved it. I really wanted to do that one re regardless. So I did it anyways. Um, but to keep the Among Us theme and keep the actual face mask, I didn't want to take that away. Um, so I ended up getting um, the idea of doing Crash Bandicoot because I know in certain times he spins and when he spins, he kind of has a similar, uh, like a similar, um, I don't know, body position or I, I don't know what to call it. Like, it just looks like the Tasmanian Devil. So I kind of got the two ideas and kind of mixed them um, with the whole Tasmanian Devil spinning, but being Crash Bandicoot. Um, and this one by far the hardest one that I've done so far as far as drawing goes um, as far as how much detail has gone into it as far as how much thought I've put into it um, how much time this probably like just doing the drawing uh, now I was also watching football Saturday and UCF was playing they just lost and so now I'm here doing this you know trying to get my mind off the loss but uh yeah um, it's playing, uh, or uh, watching football as I'm, you know, sitting here drawing and, uh, came up with the Crash Bandicoot, but, um, man, this thing took me probably like a good two hours to draw, probably like an hour on Crash Bandicoot with the tornado. And then for how much detail this went into, it probably took about an hour. Um, the, um, Aku Aku, which is the face mask. I never knew what his name was. I looked it up, and his name is Aku Aku, A-K-U-A-K-U. -A -K -U. Um, 
or at least that's what I've seen. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, I'm like 90% sure that's what his name is. So, but uh, for the Crash Bandicoot, I know obviously the Among Us characters, like I haven't really covered the bodies, um, but this one, I, I clearly have to cover the body if I'm going to get the tornado this, from the spinning. So um, with that being said, um, yeah, the body's not there. So the full blown shape of the Among Us character um, is not there how it used to be in all my other videos, but um, you still do have the face mask um, as the distinction of the actual characters. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And um, again, by far the hardest um, prompt word so far of how, well, thinking about what to do and not being cliche. I mean, yesterday I kind of did a cliche one, which was the Buzz Lightyear um, for Rocket. I know a lot of people did Buzz Lightyear, um, but again, that was just one that I kind of just, I've been wanting to do. So um, I did it anyways, even though I knew people were doing it, I still did it. But um, that's just, you know, some of them you're gonna have to, you know, take what you can get. And that was one of them. I could have done something else. I, I don't know. I could have probably put some more thought into it and figured something out. But um, as far as the actual um, Buzz Lightyear theme, I just really wanted to do Buzz Lightyear. So I did it. Um, but yeah, there was a ton of detail. I looked at man I'm gonna say like five or six different references to get this drawing done because one I haven't looked at a Crash Bandicoot drawing or video game or anything in a long time I've seen some people do things here and there there's an artist on Instagram I don't know his name I don't I don't pay attention to people's names on Instagram I just know them by their work um you know especially if they have a distinct style like there's a couple of those graffiti guys that I follow their style is very graffiti-ish or graffiti-esque. Um, and I was mentioning one of them when I was doing the Master Splinter. He does a lot of, there's two guys that do a lot of um, uh, Ninja Turtle ones and they're really good. Like they're amazing. Some of my favorite YouTube, or um, they might be on YouTube, I don't even know. Um, Instagram artists, I don't know what their names are, but their styles are amazing. Um, and there's a guy that I follow specifically, um, uh, for his artwork and he did a rendition of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon, two of my all time favorite games. Um, absolutely love, I grew up playing, I, I probably had like three, the first three Crash Bandicoots that came out and probably the first two Spyros that came out. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but growing up, that's those were the two games that I probably played the most on uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 1, just regular PlayStation. And uh, man, so much fun. But, uh, and Crash Bandicoot's my wife's uh, favorite game, so she was excited when I told her that I was doing Crash Bandicoot. She was super excited. Um, she just loves the game. It's like her favorite game. She also loves Temple Run. And I I just thought about this the other day. Like, Crash Bandicoot was the original Temple Run. Like, I don't know if people have realized that. And maybe they haven't. Maybe it just took me forever to figure it out. But, um, you know, we love Temple Run. And it ends up being just Crash Bandicoot in a different style. And obviously... Um, some of them are facing forward and facing backwards or whatever, but you know, Crash Bandicoot's one direction, unless you flip the screen and then, uh, you know, Temple Run's another direction. Um, I live in the, uh, Treasure Coast for anybody that doesn't live in Florida or know where that's at. Um, but 
if anybody's ever watched some football videos on uh, YouTube, there's a YouTuber uh, based out of uh, Fort Pierce, which is right down the street from me. And I've actually seen some of my students in his videos, um, some of my elementary school students, which are probably in, I think they're in um, middle school by now, but um, yeah, I've seen some of my students in his videos, but he's based out of here. He's, you know, born and raised in Fort Pierce, and uh, he also played at UCF. His YouTube uh, name is um, Destroying, um, D-E-E, Destroying, and he was a punter at uh, UCF, and he plays um, pro football, I think Canadian. Um, I don't know if he's still on the team with the whole COVID and all this stuff going on. I don't even know if they're still playing or not, but, um, yeah. So, um, I went to UCF as well. I think we went to UCF at the same time. Not 100% sure, but, um, I follow him on, um, it's 10 toes down. If anybody's ever heard 10 toes down, um, even a lot of rappers, um, even Christian rappers, um, listen to Christian rap and even there's Christian rappers that reference him, um, like Paris Cariz, but anyways, um, yeah, um, we just lost a tough loss and, uh, we just lost to Memphis, but anyways, this is our channel, so enough about football, but yeah, anyways, the, um, the destroying guy, um, from the area that I'm at and went to the same college. Um, he doesn't live here anymore because he plays football and he travels and I don't know where he lives, but he doesn't live here anymore. But go check him out, uh, Destroying. He's got like, I don't even know, it's like 4 million subscribers or something like that. And I'm popping off a whole 169. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool channel. Really love his videos. Um, and uh, yeah, go check him out. He's got good stuff on there f as far as the uh, um, football goes. It'd be cool if I got anywhere near how popular that dude is. Ridiculous. All right, so I got the Crash Bandicoot and the Tornado and Smoke done. Um, I have this little fruit. I don't even know what these fruits are called, but um, I can't remember what they do. I haven't played Crash Bandicoot in forever. Um, or Spyro. Those are two of my, again, two of my favorite games of all time. Um, or on PlayStation, at least. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what these fruits do, but they're like tricolored peaches or something. Um, but they're important, obviously. All right, let me go ahead and finish uh, Akuku. <laughs> Aku Aku, that's what it is, not Akuku. Aku Aku. Um, I was thinking about doing him in the fine liner, but this is starting to turn out really nice. I kind of like this. Since he's made out of wood, it's like a wood tiki head, um, organic shape, so the lines don't have to be perfect. My whole family was texting each other just now with the... Uh, Watch, we were all watching the UCF game. Me and my brother and his uh, fiance, they just got engaged. Woo -woo. Um, they both also graduated from UCF. So we are a huge UCF family. Um, first, you know, first people in our family to graduate from college. Um, we've had a couple cousins go to college. But uh, I don't think they ever graduated. Um, but as far as the immediate family goes, you know, first one's in college and we both graduated. 
go UCF, charge on. But uh, tough loss today, man. We were up a good amount, too. Same thing happened last week. But we're still young. We're kind of rebuilding in a sense. Not really. I don't know. We keep losing key players to the draft. Um, but that's no excuse because there's other schools that lose key players to the draft as well. And they keep doing good every year. We got a good team. Just kind of choking up at the end, I feel. Anyways. Enough about football. I am uh, kind of salty right now with the football. Um, because we lost, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah. This uh, brush pen is doing wonders on this wood shape stuff. Like, this is fun kind of enjoying myself right now um not that I don't enjoy myself while I'm doing my artwork but uh, sometimes I get frustrated with the work that I produce with the brush pen because it's not I'm not the best with it yet but um I'm practicing so that's why I use it on everything that I do is like I want to be better at it and there's only one way to get better at something is to do it so yeah as I've, my students ask me all the time, oh my gosh, Coach Alvarez, because I'm also a PE coach, um, Coach Alvarez, how are you so good at art? It's like, just do it. <laughs> you know, obviously, it takes a lot of practice, and I tell them that. It's like, you can't get better if you're not going to try. Like, I always tell my kids, um, you know, I, I'm going to help you guys as much as I possibly can. I want you guys to be good. I want you guys to succeed. But I'm not going to do it for you. So... If you're struggling, I'll help you. And if I have to erase what you did and kind of give you some guidelines and do it for you, in a sense, um, then I'll do that. But if your paper is blank and you haven't tried and you say, I can't do it, or you have one line on your paper and you're like, I need another paper, I'm not going to help you. Like, I'll tell you what to do, but I'm not going to put a pencil to the paper um, and I kind of uh, have them work through their struggles themselves because there's no way that they can get better by watching me do their work so it's one thing that I do in my class kind of um, force the point of you need to do it yourself you know and uh, you can't get better unless you try um, so they all enjoy my work but uh, you know we need to um, help where help is needed and push where pushing is needed you know that's the difference between uh, some teachers and myself I'm not saying at my school I'm just talking about in general you know I've had those helping hands where they've also just done the um, their work for me and it's not helped you know so you know, if you're a coach, I can't shoot the basketball for you and make it in and say, good job, you know? So it's the same thing with art. Um, all right, so we just got the feathers left and these are also pretty detailed. So I'm gonna do these. I thought I was gonna use the fine liner on this entire Aku Aku character, um, the Tiki head, but I ended up doing this um, obviously with the uh, the uh, brush pen because it's so um, kind of fluid you know so but yeah this was uh, by far now this one I've said it before I haven't said it in a couple episodes but uh, this one's definitely my favorite um, I don't think anything's gonna touch this one this is also like the most full page that I've done I have done um, a lot of smaller art um, I just knew that the um, Crash Bandicoot with the um, tornado wasn't going to be enough for this entire page. Um, it was going to need some detail on, not crazy detail in the background because it's such a detailed picture, but it was going to need some extra stuff to fill in 
the page. So, almost done with this. This is, yeah, just with the fluidity of this pen as well, like, hands down my favorite project that I've done so far with this. I've done some good ones um, with the brush pens, I'm saying. I love all the drawings that I've done. Very creative, very, like, outside-the-box type artwork, but um, some of them, again, struggle with the brush pen so all right I think that's it I don't think I'm going to do the background um, the outline with this because these are such organic shapes I think I need some um, solid line work so I'm just going to color it now, I know in the past I've done a couple where I've done the actual background because it needed it but um, this one definitely doesn't need it. Um, but yeah, this is for sure my favorite one so far. This is this was fun. That's going to be fun to the color because of uh, the vibrant colors in uh, both the characters and even in the fruit, you know, the leaves, stuff like that. So, all right. Well, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for day 18. Peace.